Hey guys, so right now I'm gonna take you through the Global Neighborhood. The Global Neighborhood is where I lived my freshman year, so it's really close to my heart. There are five buildings, Global A, B, C, D, and E, and these are the second newest dorms on campus. Um, they're really popular for freshmen, and you can even live here as a sophomore. Um, as a freshman, you'll live in a double room, so you'll have a roommate, and then you'll have, there's a suite attached, so it'll be you and your roommate in one room, a bathroom in between, and then another two girls or two boys um, attached to that room. And so it's just like the colonnades dorm that you saw in the previous video. Um, sweet style, a lot of people like it. Um, a lot of people want hall style for more social aspects, but I really liked having the sweet style because I didn't really want to share my bathroom with 20 other girls. Um, so it's really nice to only share it with three people. And this is also one of the main quads at school, the global quad. A lot of people use it for um, events. So a lot of the times you'll come out here and there's free food, which is really nice because if you live here and you walk outside and there's free food outside your door, you're not gonna complain about that. Um, a lot of people like to lay out and tan here, do homework, um, throw a frisbee around. But right now, of course, people are in class. <laughs> But there also are um, classrooms inside of Global, which was really nice. I lived in Global A my freshman year, which had a classroom in it. So sometimes there are classes, but it's not that frequent. And so you can use the classroom as a study area, which is very, very nice because when you're just cooped up in your room the whole time, it's kind of hard to focus. And so these classrooms really provide a good study space for students. And in the middle of the Global Dorms and the Global Quad, there's Global Commons, also known as GLOCO, which is what you'll hear students call it. Um, this is the study abroad area, and they have a huge great hall for doing homework, tons of classrooms and study rooms. This is where I spent most of my freshman year. I lived in here more than I lived in my dorm um, because it's so conveniently located. And there's also Argo T inside. I'll be able to take you in there in just a few minutes. Um, but in Argo T, they have um, teas, paninis, raw bars, um, really good healthy food options. So it's perfect when you're up late studying and you just want like a coffee. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to try and see if I can take you into the Global A classroom. Um, the dorms are usually locked, but because it's a Friday during the day, they might have it open in case there's a class in there. So let's see. This is perfect and on each floor there's a common area and a kitchen um, I can't take you to the upper classrooms because I don't have access anymore sadly um, but in this this is the common room for the first floor of this global um, they have this study room over here they also have TVs on each floor which is really nice and a vending machine let's hit the light so it's a pretty good sized study room. Um, I can tell you I've spent a lot of time in this room. So now I'm gonna take you into the Global A classroom. Sometimes there are classes in here, but most of the time it's free for anyone who needs a nice study space. And it's also really good for practicing presentations. I did that my freshman year because you can pull down the projector and they have um, a computer and a projector um, control set up for you. So that's really nice. And then they also have these fun little soft blocks for if you want to just like lay down and study, if um, that's a part of your routine. If you don't want to lay in bed, but you want to sit on like a nice comfy surface. My friends and I have pulled so many all-nighters in this room. It's really, really useful, especially sometimes you might need to stay up late and study, but your roommate wants to go to bed. So you can just walk downstairs into um, the classroom or the study area or go to the common room if you prefer to, but this is generally a pretty popular option for students.